Hey folks, Chit of Headings here uh, to talk about a slightly off the anamorphic subject, but a connect back, you'll see. Uh, not so recently, I picked up an iPhone 8 Plus, I didn't keep it, because of its dual camera. The dual camera is the secret to portrait mode, where the phone creates depth of field, uh, simulates depth of field and subject separation through the use of math and software. Portrait mode by itself is not that impressive. It just, you don't have so much control over the final result. Just kidding, it's pretty impressive. But more importantly, it sets precedent for other interesting apps. The way portrait mode works is the phone uses information from both cameras, which have different placement and different focal lengths which means they see different images that have parallax in between them, which is how you perceive distance between objects. So the phone uses that information from both cameras and special software to create a depth map. A depth map is a black and white image that tells computer software what is closer to the camera in brighter colors, gearing towards white, to, as opposed to what's further away, which tends to black. So this depth map matches your 2D photo that we just clicked, and this allows the phone to break that photo, which is a regular photo, into layers on 3D space in front of a 3D camera that simulates a real camera with a real lens and a real aperture. So the original image has extreme depth of field, everything is sharp and in focus because it's a tiny lens uh, it's a wide angle lens on a tiny sensor. But once you break it into these layers, you can make it easily look as if it was shot on a bigger sensor. This also allows you to choose where you want focus to be and how much depth of field do you want from that point. How much forward, how much backwards. Uh, this by itself is no scientific breakthrough. The Hollywood has been doing this for years uh, with CGI and all three, like, it's no big deal if you talk to people that work in 3D. Lytro also had a camera a couple of years back that did this in a somewhat straightforward way, but the real magic is having it on the palm of your hand. You can just boop, point and shoot, and there you go, depth of field. It's amazing. So now you don't need dozens of specialists and expensive 3D software and technicians and whatnot and supercomputers in order to simulate depth of field in post, at least for stills. It didn't take much for app developers to jump on this dual camera train and beat the original Apple's portrait mode app. Uh, so in upcoming episodes, I'm going to be talking about apps like depth cam or portrait cam, as well as focus. They all take advantage of the depth map in ways that favor anamorphaking in post. And I'm not gonna go much further into the subject in this episode since it's already dense. You can read into the subject, it's gonna give you hours of great reading. It's pretty interesting if you're into what happens once the image goes into the computer. If you wanna go further down the rabbit hole of how smartphone cameras work, you can check out how the Google Pixel 2 achieves a similar effect while having a single camera compared to Apple's two cameras. Uh, but for now, just let me know what you think of this break in the all the anamorphic talk in the comments below. Like this video if it made sense and subscribe to the channel to be notified when the app reviews come online as well as their, their sort of tutorials of how to use and how to fake this stuff. It's, they're pretty interesting apps. I'm Chitif Hedens and I'll see you next week.